Hello everybody. Sorry for taking a little bit longer than usual. Uh, let's get ready to go. Okay, cool. So I think um, I think the starting premise that we're gonna deal with. Um, I think there are, as as members of the grand, um, yeah, the grand conclave. This is that's right. That's I want. I don't want to make sure I didn't mix it, mix it uh mix it up with the collegium. Um, the latest member of the grand conclave has been inducted. Um, to somewhat lukewarm applause and appeal. They are from the borderlands territories which Ooh. typically is not seen as a a valid way in and this person Scandalous. obviously this, this person was obviously the um like son of sort of the provincial governor yeah <laughs> um but like still even that is still, seen a bit, as a bit nouveau rich like faux royal faux nobility yeah exactly um and there's been whispers, um, or whether or not it, they're true or not, perhaps it's just um, people trying to discredit him and his his side. Is that they do have some sort of uh, what would you what, how would we call it um, alternative Mixed ideas? Heritage? Yeah, oh, even worse. Alter some some that they may not construe to all of the ideals of the republic. Um, and so that I think that might be the um thing that may or may not be the, the thing that we can start playing with but also we could kind of leave it up to that kind of thing right excellent yeah so where do we like where do we want to cut in on this i'm 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 picturing personally like a scene at the underground in the underground academia yeah, I guess, mm -hmm. I guess, Circle? I guess maybe like maybe, Xenophon's yeah. giving an illegal lecture or something. <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. I guess that's probably where I should start with. Also, is asking is how far along are you on, or like how far, how? Uh, this is a, probably a question for Xenophon because they are probably the subject expert of this, right? Um, how? Or actually, no, it's actually probably. I'm sorry, it's probably Constantinus. Yeah. How far along are you to building a sort of reputable school? To, to challenge the collegium. So, have I think you got since that my calling is to build the school, um, we have no place to meet, no physical structure. Mm -hmm. uh, there, no we safe have kind place of like a meet. network. Yeah, exactly. We have kind of a network right. of people who are interested, but that's it. Right. So then, yeah. So we so we zoom in then on on Zenithon. And and you and probably some others attending, yeah, the underground academia. So I want to ask, uh, maybe this is for Xenophon then. Um, where where are you meeting, and why is it unsafe? Um, I I think it's like a uh, sort of like a, a tavern after hours, and while the you know the the owner is uh, you know sort of amenable to the whole thing just that there's lights is dangerous right are you paying for the privilege to be here or or is the owner sentimental or, or am i the owner yeah as the most sentimental person in the republic famous for my well then i then that's an interest that that's an interesting question because then we have that that begs another question yeah. is how did can you come women, about owing yeah can women own owning? property um i think is velis married i think yes to yeah. a man yeah like you to have a, to be. a queer to a queer man right like yeah yeah You're, and like yeah. we're queer you solidarity come. We we huddle mm -hmm. together like beautiful rainbow penguins. Right, and it's um, so it's, it's it, okay. Yeah, like it lets both of us like relieve shield. the pressure it's a shield. of scrutiny. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. a bearded then, man. Yeah, exactly. Yes, Mut mutual mutual beards. Um, yes. Okay. Yeah, and I think um, yeah, I think this tavern. If I may talk about this tavern mm -hmm. for a moment. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, totally. I think this tab. I think this tavern is like unusual in that I'm I'm the way I'm picturing the design of like most eating houses in the Republic is very deliberately designed to dis dis disencourage unencourage. What's the word I'm looking for? Discourage. discourage. That's the word. To like discourage uh, like table fellowship, right? Like people naturally when they eat in the same space as each other, like that naturally tends to make people feel emotionally close to each other and bond. And they're like, fuck, how could we make this not happen? And so like, I think it's like, it's like bars. Like it's, it's, it's like a bar around all four walls and you like sit on your stool facing the wall and eat your meal. Mm -hmm. And then in the middle is the kitchen. But I think, uh, I think something about the design of this tavern, and I'll, like I'll, I'm still working on exactly what it yeah. is, but I think is is like noticeably different. And this is an architecture that is actually designed so that people can like share a meal together and mm-hmm. like have community mm-hmm. to speak yeah. to the other people in the room. What? Who knew? Yeah. Um, I think, if I may, yep. What if the the tavern is almost always quote unquote under construction so there was a lot of of saw uh sta- what are they saw horses and things like that that have been can that can be quickly used as tables and whatnot when really like you know yes. preparing things. oh that's it's, yeah eric that's so good yeah yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah there's a leak in the roof right mm-hmm. and i am among other like i'm a waterbender so like yes there is a convenient leak in the roof whenever the city inspectors come around mm-hmm. yeah. and it's like oh that stuff's out here because i'm it's just look at this we, like we I'm, I'm just, we're just, yeah, yeah we're, we're trying to it's just, we're just trying to just trying to run a business fixed, here right? this, yeah we plug one leak and another one starts you know it just seems it seems to be the life mm-hmm. um, can i but, add an interesting image to what would be other taverns and eating places you may it's it's normally like all constructed around the center like that but um, you can't actually see the cooking that's going on. You just have like a screen that gets lowered oh, in front of you. Yeah. And when your food's ready, they they pull the screen up like at half height so that you can only see like their chest level or something like that. Put food under the screen and then close the screen again. And then you're, you're just staring at the screen while you eat. Yeah. It's like a weird. That's fucked up. Mm-hmm. I love it. Oh, oh okay. Cool. So, let's see. Right. So, I guess I guess the big question here is, um, but why is so why is this place unsafe? Well, okay. So it's like after hours, like after official hours, and just seeing the lights fall out could you know it, uh, could cause uh, like a patrol to come in and, and uh, see what's going on. Um, and you know, I, I think, in, additionally, uh, you know, we've got uh, the, the the tables are currently set up mm-hmm. uh, so that people can see and interact with each other, right? Yeah, a hundred, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, and I think I've got like, like I don't know, like you know, the the big cooking stoves or surfaces or whatever probably not but i think like i've got like a little cooking fire going and i've made like like tea or something and like you know we're all like sharing some tea and some like bread that i baked and we're all having like in an overall sense a good time uh and eric i would like to build something what would you like to build a good time i would like to build a sense of community among these people here and now. How long have you guys been brain. meeting? How long how long I say you guys, but like how long have you all been meeting? Um Is this something that's been happening for a while? Um is is this is this the first meeting of the underground uh, underground academia? I like I like the idea that it's like the first like IRL meetup. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is the first time people are there and it's shady. Yeah. So um this is a little bit more dire than your standard two successes. I feel like this is probably a three. Yep, um, that's that's fair. In fact, I mean, it's pro actually like it's probably a four because of just this is the first time and how um, people are are extremely shaken. Um, 
you're not sure you, you had to put a lot of trust in people um, asking them to, mm. to meet here and those words have carried um, you're asking for the trust of a lot of people yep no legit um, but what is what is the community what community can be built on what foundation other than trust so yeah exactly um, um cool and i'm gonna i'm gonna declare is, right? i'm gonna i'm gonna establish that an fair? Armament. does that sound like you you as a player does that sound fair a reasonable i think four is a lot mm -hmm. like this is a game where the oh the overwhelming majority of stuff is two actions including okay. like fights and right. i think like like four is a lot. Then three. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with three. three. I'm happy with three. Three is fine. Then. I feel like, All right, yeah. let's do three. Thank you. Right. So that's that's just my rest. Yeah. That's, that's no, fine. totally. Um. Yeah. And I'm I've been established an armament. Um, yeah. Because I've got I've got my five abstract armament, so I can yeah. basically I can figure out what those those are. Like in other words, in other if this was blades, this is a desperate situation. Yeah. Right. No, yeah. Totally. And so like if you can interpret it that way. Uh, that's that, that's 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 literally how it works, Eric. Yeah. Okay. That's Ash is just repurposing blades subtly. Yeah, in that's that bit. that's fine. That's that's cool. That's that's. <laughs> is there a way we can help each other? <laughs> right. Um, I believe so, but right now I'm just trying to figure out. I mean, like, help. Should I would could could an, could help be an armament? Um, I don't. I think there's a, other rules for helping, but I don't remember what they are. Um, I remember sure. seeing rules for helping too. It might be something like I also roll dice Hell. and we counter successes together or something. You're Let's not building. See. Are you building? Here's my question for you. Are you building the sense of community to be used as an armament, by the way? Um, mm. Yes. I okay. Am. Awesome. Cool. Oh, uh, yeah. Here we yeah. go. So, if, yeah, if you're, if you're helping, they just get to put dice into yeah. the effort. Yeah. You, so you they give also them dice. roll dice and, yeah, they also yeah. risk dice and it's basically like that. Okay. So we could we cooperate to achieve the success. Do I do I um, tell do I do I telegraph you what failure looks like here or like what 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 failure will be or um we, no I... because there's then a, a compromise thing that happens where we like okay we can basically buy off a failure instead mm -hmm. of it just letting it be a failure uh cool wherever that is all right works for me somewhere I'll figure out how this current new version of uh, works at some point. So, so characters start the game with five abstract armaments, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's totally. So I'm like... So I'm let's gonna... just... Don't worry about filling so, them in right now. When the need when the need yeah. calls for it, summon one. Right? Yeah, so I'm so I'm, I'm trying to build a new armament here, which is yeah. like uh, an armament. I just want to check if we're allowed to do this. When you build something to be used as an armament, the armament starts off with a specific purpose and one die of a specific element and only a single use. Uh, successes build uh, your role. Um, successes Actually, no, built so, on your role can be used and to improve an armament in, in multiple yeah. ways. So, having having reread the rules, I'm not building an armament because this. Yeah, that's so weak. I, wa I want to build. I want to build. Yeah, I want. It's it's smaller than what I want actually. Like I don't want to build like a thing that one character has. I want to build a sense of community. Yeah. Among the group. Right. Trust. So. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm gonna spend. It's still op three. Um, yep. Cool, cool. Or is it target number? Op three. I guess op, not target number. I don't know. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to spend. Uh, two. Hmm. I'm going to spend two of my earth dice and one of and my one air dice. Uh, I'm gonna roll them. I'm gonna see what happens. Do you have to hold on? Do you have to describe what that looks like when you put four dice? Um, I mean, I feel I feel like I've already kind of like like I'm. I, there is tea being shared. There is bread that is being shared between these people. Like we've converted the tavern into this atmosphere that is like very unlike what these people know. Yeah. Right. Okay. Which but yeah. encourages intimacy between people. Yeah. Right. So so between between the making, preparing, and building of food, and then the air of being more of the. Oh, uh, so you don't what? you don't have to justify which dice you're using. No. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, That's that was my the question. Act, the right, action is go. what matters. Yeah. No, the action right, is what let's matters. Go. And then just let's go. Let's go then. Dice, Perfect. Dice okay. Right. So th this was so um, actually, this was kind of like your engagement role for the scene, right? Yeah, kind of. Actually, so That's fuck it. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use all three of my. I'm gonna risk all three of my earth dice. I might risk two, both of my water dice. Yep. Cool. 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 Awesome. So you spend those dice. Ah, uh, and this is, and so this is a just to talk about this. 
um, the person who's helping doesn't have to be making the same, using the same action. So someone else oh, could contribute to this by like tending the burgeoning community or like, yeah, I don't know, avoiding people's suspicion or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, well, okay. Before you roll, um, okay, I did it. Or after? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too late. Too late, Brad. Yeah. They rolled. Okay. Uh, uh, they rolled. All right. Um, so that's uh, one success with Earth. What? Oh fuck! And I lose two Earth dice. Oh, bad. Right. Uh, so let's let's interpret the results. And right. One so, success. Yeah. Okay. So, so for those, I've got two successes and yeah. two Earth dice. Go dead. Right. So, um, yep, so your six and your two. Uh, the six and the five. Oh, six. Oh, no, the two and the, the, the let, me two. Look, let me look at the giant chart. This yeah, so two and the two. Oh, yeah, six and the five. The two yeah, and yeah, three yeah, yeah. on D6s go, yeah, two and the three on, on D6s go dead. Yep. The six on a D6 is a success, and the five uh, on a uh, uh, D8, whatever number, it's still a five, so it's a success. Good job, me. Mm -hmm. And it stays. Okay. Yep. Cool. cool. But you lost. You lost some Earth dice. Yeah, I did. I did. I, I exhausted some of the Earth. Right. And cool. then Adam, how did you do? So you got. You got. I got both one. successes. You got two successes. We did it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Good nice job, team. Yeah. Yep. Wow. By one. Nice. Yeah. Cool. So you. So you. Yeah. You, you, you take you, that, you, Eric. You trumped it. Right. Yeah. Um. Community. I think, um, so I think what this looks like is you hear chattering going on outside the tavern, um, right? It's not necessarily, it's a group of, um, I, should we call them priests, acolytes? What, what, what's the religious title of, of the people of the Holy Shrine? Oh, fuck. They're probably called like, um, they're probably called like brides or husbands, right? Well, husbands. Mm. They're all husbands because they're all men. Yeah, they're, they're all husbands. Of authority. Right. So the yeah, husband. They're, they're like, right. Right. They're like a, the um, husbands of the republic. Yeah. So a group. They're married yeah. to the job. A a cadre mm -hmm. a cadre of husbands, um, go down the street. <laughs> uh, they go by your tavern talking and stuff like that. You see a couple of them like look into the window or whatever, um, but then just, they they just seem to ign just completely ignore, uh, whatever you have going on. Um, they probably didn't see anything. And with with those with those successes, and uh, you're you kind of you breathe a sigh of relief, and I feel like the the general atmosphere of this place also has breathed this, a huge sigh of relief. Like, huh, we actually are doing this thing, and people don't know about mm. it. Um, so, does somebody want to conduct this? I feel like people, no one, so none of the people in in who who have gathered today really know what to expect. Um, so I feel like they're also kind of really afraid to engage with people, even though you have set this thing up and there's no spies amongst your mists or no um, interlopers coming in here, right? Yeah. I need mm -hmm. some one of you three are going to need to sort of lead this. Take charge. Um, yeah. Right. Okay. Are we in the cold season? No, I think it's summer. Season. Okay. Of, season. Season of fire. Yeah. It's a good question, though. Unless, uh, oh. I mean, hold on. You are the Xenophon. You're the academic. You tell us what what season are we in? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I, uh, well, if, if what hinges on it being cold season? What? Uh, I want to put my coat over someone who looks like they're shivering. If we're in the cold season. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's a, sounds good to me. I mean, if nobody. <laughs> It's so then, yeah. So then, it's the cold season, right? It's by mm -hmm. you. It's the, okay. Um, perhaps it's uh, perhaps on the oh 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 oh. Uh, it's a uh, cold season, but it's like right on the edge of spring. Like this is maybe the yeah, last chill. It's the, hungry, it's, it's the hungry gap, right? Like it's that bit where uh, you used all the all the, the last of the winter food, but like. And it's it's like it technically it's spring, but it's still cold, and like none of the spring food sure. is here yet, and so it's just like hungry and cold and kind of like depressing. Mm -hmm. All we have is tea. Mm. Yeah, tea and bread. That's it. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I got nothing fresh. I got nothing fresh. Mm -hmm. Um, 
Except I do. It's one of my armaments. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess nice. I guess my question for you, um, this then is, what what regretful obligation is coming up because of the season? What are you dreading? What event? What event are you dreading? The holiday, festival, work obligation, societal obligation. What is what is the upcoming thing that you you you're dreading? Surely spring is the uptake season for the school, right? Yeah. Like yeah. soon it's it's going to be like the Grand Collegium is going to take in a whole new bunch of students and we don't have an alternative ready. Mhm. Mm right. Yeah. Cool. So admissions sounds great. Um, it's probably yeah. it's, it's probably it's not a holiday, but it's, it's admissions day. Is when when the students go to the school, right? It's the first day of school. Yeah, right. we have very short time to it's build week. a place for people who aren't actually going to be taught. Right. So, yeah. right. We are pressed for time. Is an important thing here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will keep that in mind. Great. Sorry. Uh, sorry for Excellent. asking some more exploratory questions. Also. Um, Questions I, are I, good. I just, I just had yeah. one more. Constantinos, are you 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 said you're older. Are you married or are you what are what is your current relationship status? I am single. Hmm. Okay. And Xenophon? Are you uh, what's what what about you? Are you married? I I think Ooh. Uh divorced, and that's the thing. Oh yeah. Mm. Perfect. Okay. Yes, you are divorced. That's really good. Okay. So what happened there? Uh I I think it was uh is probably uh an uh arranged marriage and it was just such a uh uh, uh, such a horrible mismatch. Uh, not that uh, we uh, like disliked each other, but that it, it just uh, uh, we weren't. Uh, uh, th th there's just no, no love there, and uh, I, I think we uh, like found a way to, to uh, and, you know, like an excuse to get uh, a divorce, to get, you know, to get leave for divorce that was uh, like difficulty between the two families that wasn't actually there, but we fostered the illusion of it. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, but even with the, even being given leave, that's, you know, looked on with uh, disfavor. Yeah. Awesome. There we go. I'm sorry, poor viewers who are going to come in and be like, "What the hell is this roll twenty sheet?" <laughs> but uh, don't don't worry. Uh, you'll you'll get it. Believe me. Okay. Cool. Um. Okay. So ooh, divorce. Okay. Cool. So yeah. So things are things are okay. I need, but we still need someone to sort of lead this. And uh, I'm done with uh, my questions for now. Okay. So I'll look around yeah. and. Like if anybody else uh, looks like they're like going to or want to speak, I'll give them an op like uh, I'll lead into the pause a bit and give them an opportunity. But if nobody does, I'll go ahead and speechify. Well, I uh, I won't be speaking because I'm a pretty monosyllabic yeah oh, yes, I, i'm yes. curious okay. i'm curious adam uh, does mm -hmm. constantinos like communicate using sign language or like uh what's the situation there so uh, the main situation is they are able to um make sounds with their mouth mm -hmm. but coordinating multiple syllables together um things come out um in the wrong order and don't yeah make linguistic sense yeah doesn't come out in like the natural language um i'm almost kind of leaning row row internet mm. what can you do they'll be right back Amen. um i have a question for you two 
What do you mm-hmm. think? Um, what do you think this group is? Oh, is that I'm back? Welcome back. I'm back. Hey. Hey. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. Wife. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Inter- inter- internet messed you up. So what were you saying? Uh, I was. I'm thinking of Constantinus's speech um, issues as being sort of like how I understand dyslexia to work, as in like words just get flipped around constantly. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I dig that. Yep. Um. Cool. So my question, I, so I actually, I, I have another question for you. What does this group look like? Are they also um, oppressed? Yeah. Is it a, is it a mix? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just entirely Absolutely. oppressed. Okay. Like to, to my mind, by some staggering coincidence, the uh, the demographic line between those people who uh, fail out of the Grand Collegium and those who stay in somehow miraculously falls down along a citizen non-citizen mm-hmm. divide. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. just just um, by some yeah, isn't that isn't that odd? Um, are you a citizen of this country? Of, are you a citizen by birth? I mean, or is it I, I, I don't think I don't think that's how it works. Like, I think I think to be to be a citizen, you must be born. Male, yeah. ma- male, of the nationality of the republic, able-bodied, and you must then like grow up to, and you must then grow and, up to not be like, and, and don't, if you and if you turn push, out to be queer, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. If you exactly. turn out to be yeah, queer, get disenfranchised. Them. If you become disabled, so you can, disenfranchised. So you can be disenfranchised. So my qu- yeah. So it sounds like yeah. okay. So so you are a citizen, but I. So it sounds like a, a criteria to keep citizenship status is to. Uh, graduate the Grand Collegium. Would that is that fair to say or no? Possibly. Uh, I don't think failing out of the Grand Collegium disqualifies you yeah. as a citizen because you could still be a white, straight, able-bodied dude. And yeah, fail. yeah. I mean, any like, of the upper, possible. any of the better. upper yeah. ranks or echelons, yeah, require it. But uh, no, yeah, for the average person, I think, no. I th- yeah, I think, I think, okay. person with a degree and citizen are not like. It's not a one to one. Yeah. Ratio. Okay. Got but it. I don't cool. think anyone who is a non citizen has a degree. Yeah. Of course. That's absolutely yeah. true. Okay. Cool. Cool. So, um, what are what are the sorts of topics of conversations going on? Well, um, I guess I'm going to kind of open things up and, and kind of, uh, I mean, I guess there, there's this feeling I want to. Uh, uh, from that, try and create a, 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 a feeling of optimism uh, by saying something along the lines of, friends, we are brought together communally out of a shared passion for knowledge. And together, we can build upon that. It is imperative that we do so. And and if we do not, if we do not create the beginnings of a uh, uh, of an institution here and now, how will uh, how how can we expect our uh, children to hope for such a uh, uh, to attain uh, lofty heights to uh, uh, attain the uh, the knowledge and wisdom of the world that is granted so easily to certain others excuse me hmm so is um, are, are you trying to make a role so, here or or is that just I, I think so uh what's your okay, intention so uh so I I don't know what I'm trying to do like mechanically um that's but fine. I, that, that, don't don't okay. worry about the mechanics. Just we tell can, me what you're fictionally trying to. Yeah. yeah. What? Uh, let's stay in the fiction layer for a second. What are you trying to do? 
Um, like what, what does this look? So you, you stole this thing and that's so like, what is your, what is your intention? What is your fictional intention that by giving this speech, what happens? Uh, I'm trying to, uh, uh, motivate this like nascent community to actually, uh, uh, you know, create something to, uh, move forward, not just to, uh, 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 for this to not just be like a, a one-time thing and, oh, the, the, uh, the husbands came by, that was scary. Let's not do this again. Right. Okay. Mm. So that sounds like you're trying to build something to me. So uh, now, obviously, yeah, let's, build, let's build interpret this. Ten, it sounds maybe, like, right? yeah. Like, like um, tend their confidence or like build a sense of purpose, maybe? Well, I think unlike what Luke said for the first question of mine, I feel like this is actually is building an armament. A. I mean, again, again, an armament, an armament is owned by a person, not and this community. sounds more like it's targeted at the group. Okay, never mind. So, that. like, like armaments are things that give us extra dice when we go right. to do things. All right. Like, I guess. Um, I guess an armament could be like a reputation. Right. 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 With, so, so I think like, being able to draw right. on this group of people so, could be an armament, yeah. but. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, so. An argument is, is uh, necessarily tied to one person. Yes. Yeah. 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 Possessed okay. by a character. Yeah. I think. I think there. A woman speaks up um, when you when you say this and says, um, "I think. I think kind of like exactly what what you just kind of said to us, right? Saying like the husbands went by. They're gonna be back. This was a horrible idea. I, you know, like I, I love. I love this, but there's, I'm not cut out for this, right? And um, and be like, I'm not. I, this was. I'm glad I did it the first time, but I don't think I'm. I, I, this is too risky. I can't. This is too dangerous. I, you know, and they're just trying to rationalize their way to not want to be here. So you're you're fighting against um, this sentiment, right? Yes. Uh, they're not. This isn't a versus test. Like this is like you doing that, but like yeah, you're right. There is a sentiment there, and and while while people are enjoying the food and things like that, you know, it's like this is very this is very nerve wracking. Okay. So, well, I mean, that so doesn't deny I... your success, right, Luke? Uh yeah no I feel I feel like I feel like that's chill right, cool, like we're good, like we're sure. rolling this together that's yeah, what yeah, my yeah. success was about yeah, yeah. Right? okay right okay. and yeah so on uh, the... for the first time yeah for okay. for them being there right now so yeah so this is like okay yeah but like no like we let's let's actually try to do something here today uh so we come back again and so yeah all right okay let's... uh so uh on the mechanical side uh can this be like uh instilling a sense of optimism like one of the mm -hmm. the air things is optimistic i'm i mean the through yeah like build yeah build building optimism yeah or is it or is it just it's building it doesn't matter what you're building well so remember you can use any kind of dice for any kind of action so like you get you can spend as many air dice as you want on building things that's totally legit okay. it just statistically might not be the wisest thing in the world yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, like it, like it sounds like you're building. Like it doesn't sound like you're trying to avoid anything. No, because because okay. the, oh, the, the so, yeah, exactly because I'm okay, telling so you, I'm, I'm explicit. Are, yeah, okay. Yeah, Define I'm explicit. What the action is. Yeah, I'm explicitly yeah, but, telling you that the the desire of the crowd to come back for for a new another session is not present at the moment. It feels dangerous. Yeah, that mm. they're thankful for this first session, but they don't know if they want to come back again. It's too dangerous. Right, and so that what you're doing is you're you're assuaging that, right? You're assuaging. Yes. It. Mm -hmm. uh, you are you are you're replacing that with with a newfound, um, built, uh, fortified desire for for learning and and coming here again. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right, and I think I think that's and a I pretty think I'm gonna help. To, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help with that. Yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna help by tending to their fear. Sure. Like you're trying to you're trying to build them up, and at the same time, I'm trying to like calm. I'm trying to like calm their anxiety, and then you're Serving being like, food. "Yes, and we can yeah. do a thing." Right. Mm -hmm. And I, th I think I actually, I think I actually go like to that woman. Right. Yeah. Like, I think Velas um, goes to that woman and like. I uh let's let's give her a name, right? Irene. Yeah, absolutely. Or yeah, she Irina. she goes to, she goes to Irina and she like takes her hands and looks into her eyes, and is like like I hear you. Like I, I understand I, I I understand that you're afraid. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. 
Um, I think I think I think the touching of another person is a pretty dramatic act, and so yes. it definitely flies yeah, definitely. into the the obstacle here. Right. Uh, this might yeah. just be, it's just maybe too sensitive, and they leave in a hurry. Right. I would like to narrate something that might include putting Help. in dice. Right. Yeah. So I'm walking around this space. Um, I was kind of up to um, to put my coat over that one person, mm -hmm. and now I'm as um, Brad. What's your character's name? Xenophon. As Xenophon was talking, I'm in concerns being rising about um, us being found here again. Um, I'm just walking around inside this building going like making this gesture like we can we can migrate around if we want to and I'm just saying words like we wheel birds land Yeah, cool. Yeah, so no. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try and tend to this woman's fear. I would totally allow that to be mechanically like, helping because, like, you and and Constant Xanaphon and you and Constantinos have a relationship together. Like, you already mm -hmm. you, kn you know each other well enough to understand the conveyance of what was being said. So mm -hmm. I I will leave that interpretation to help up to you um, if if Adam was offering it to you. Mm -hmm. I'd love to. Sure. Um. So, uh, given what I know about uh, Constantinos, would it be uh, uh, would it be better to just like let that stand, or uh, better to like build on it and, and uh, make sure that uh, everybody knows your intent? Yeah, you might need to help out yeah. a little bit because that was a and little metaphorical. Play interpret, yeah, play interpreter for a moment, mm -hmm. and what do, you, what do you tell the group? Right. Uh, mm -hmm. What, what your colleague is trying to say is... Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean... Th if this, even that, if you do that. Yeah. The, yeah, this this new uh, institution I speak of need not have walls. It can be anywhere. It is within us. Yes. But then where would the students go? They should be coming in from the from, and from the shrine knows where for school. How will they find us? How can we trust them? How can we instill? What? How can we build a place that doesn't exist, except for something that's in us, right? It sounds. This sounds unreal. It sounds made up, right? Like they're not. They're not getting the sentiment. But once again, this is not. This mm -hmm. is just them talking and things like that. It's not. I'm not trying to be like you're wrong here, right? Like and they're mm -hmm. right. Like okay. not at all, right? Yeah, I'm just I mean, saying. Like I'm just saying. Like these people don't know what to do, and you're telling them they're like, just just trust yourself and believe in these things. They're like, what are you talking about? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and like that's like that's what I'm trying to convey here. Right, so whether or not I'm doing a good job or whatever, whatever, but like that's what's going on. It's like your 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 sentiment is being met with cynicism and skepticism, mm -hmm. right? Okay, I have a rebuttal. Um, and and so while the, the, while they're willing, but based on what you've built and brought forward here, right? Um, right. That's that's the question. So we're on your roll. I have a rebuttal to their their cynicism. Okay. Um, I'm basically conveying, like, I want to instill the image of their mind that birds know how to stay in a group and many animals know how to stay in a group. So my metaphor holds up. So I'm saying things like the starlings, the deer, and just like other groups yeah. of animals right. that can travel together and don't right. get lost. And, and like, basically, 
what you're doing, the reason why they're going to come back is that they get the the message of what you're saying here. You're saying that it's it's not the school, it's the group, it's the community. Mm -hmm. And wherever we meet, it doesn't matter. It's the minds that meet together is the most important part is what I'm hearing from you two. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's the thing that they need to understand. Because right now they're like, I don't get it, though. Like, it's all about the school. It's the symbol. Right. Mm -hmm. And and that's what they need help with. I think I might be tending with air dice. Okay. And I have two air dice. Sadly, uh, well, okay. What's the what's the ob? Two. Two. Okay. Right, standard. Standard two. Risky. Okay. Uh. Well, I'm gonna be at least partially building with air dice. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to use my earth die, uh, an air and a uh, uh, and a water. Uh, and maybe I should try that uh, a splash roll in front of it. Yeah, maybe I should <laughs> throw in a water die as well. That'd be cool. Okay. Uh, All right, this, two, this is a build action. So so that's really good. That's three successes. Awesome. Nice. Okay, so I get to and I get to keep all of those dice, yep. right? Since yep. All awesome. those dice stay alive. Sweet. <laughs> Super good. Well, nicely, nicely rolled. Um, Adam, you lose two dice, if I recall. Yep. Uh, yep. I lose one air and one water. I <laughs> think. Yep. That's okay. Right. Which makes sense. So I, th I think, I think, um, yeah, I think, I think they were confused. And um, yeah, so now they 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 get it. They they get that this is this is the message, right? And so I think we maybe have a little bit of a montage of of everybody going back and forth, of seeing like the different ideas and things that we're going to talk about um, that go that goes forth here. Um, is there unless unless I'm missing something? Like, is that the scene of the first meeting? Or I think so. Sure. Yeah. Or I, or I is reckon, there? I reckon that's it. Right. Okay, cool. That's what I was thinking too. All right, cool. Um great. So where's the second meeting being held? When and when? How, how so much I, time how so, much time has passed? So, so I, I have a scene between that happens between the first and the second meeting. Okay. Um cool. Because See, right. um by the way, just in so, terms of in, real quick, like just a matter of order of course, what Luke is doing is exactly what I expect to happen. Like if I will I will just continue ahead. Like I would just make something up and keep going and making a scene and, and flash forward in time to the next thing I think is a cool obstacle. If you want to cut me off and be like, hold on, I want to do a scene before that. Let me know. Right. You, so you said okay, the scenes yeah. this way. Right. Or, or mm -hmm. even before, don't give me a chance to say, okay, and we are moving on just step yeah. forward and say something too. Right. Like that's how it's like, going to work. Cause I, I want the game to keep moving and cause we don't have a lot of time to play. And so mm -hmm. this is the best way of yeah. doing it. Right. I like it. Cool. So right. I, so, okay. So I, I feel, I feel like, um, given what we've established, uh, it doesn't feel to me like the goal here is to build, like, an underground school. Like, even though we are going to probably receive, like, violent harassment over it, because we're non-citizens daring to operate a school, like, we are operating a fucking school. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, like, what, what I'm gonna do... And I think again, I think this is this is like a montage. It happens over the course of like a, a, a couple of days. Is I'm talking about it, like as like as like pe people are coming into this uh, tavern that I own, which is an unusual tavern, both in that a woman has like a prominent role in operating it, and also mm -hmm. in that it is like a place where you actually talk to other human beings. And I am like putting out the word and like making it known that this is a thing and i'm like i i feel like i'm built like i i think this is built like i'm built i'm what okay well no so i'm not gonna we're not gonna worry about that we can worry about whether there needs to be a role in a bit but like yeah i'm 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 like building a reputation for the school i'm saying like this is a thing this exists like if you are a non-citizen 
if you are disenfranchised, if you are one of us, like this is a place for you to go instead of the Grand Collegium and it is a place where you will be welcomed and you will be like supported and taken care of. And mm. if you are a person who has failed out of the Grand Collegium, even if you're a citizen, honestly, like this is a place where you can come and learn because we don't hold that against you. Perfect. But what I'm trying to do, and this is key, is I'm being just subtle enough about it to stay under the radar of the husbands. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to avoid. Yes, to me. right? Like, which, yeah, which I just I just realized, okay. right? Like, <laughs> the other part, that's fucking whatever. I can, you know, talking to people and saying words at them yeah, and telling to... them about ideas is that you can just do that. That's a thing your character can do. Yeah, no, yeah, definitely. I'm trying to avoid notice um, while mm -hmm. doing it. The wrong kind of notice. Totally. Uh, what what is what is how many successes do I need, Eric? Two. Uh, um, that's not that's not so bad. <laughs> it's things will get. You know that uh, right now because it's it well you're it's lucky you guys are positioned with the wind with the, the still the cold weather that um the there's not a lot of new faces in the bar, right? It's yeah. still kind of like your regular people. Um, there's the occasional one and stuff like that, but it's nothing. You're, you're okay letting this slide. It will not be the same case if it was the summer. Yeah, cool. And actually, I have just... Uh, I've just uh, established one of my uh, armaments. The rest of them are kind of like brainstormy. But this this one I'm locking in. Uh, one of my air dice, which is an armament, is community support mm -hmm. from my patrons. And it is, uh, it, is a, it is an air dice for like when I try and like avoid bad shit coming down on me and mine and these people yeah and that's what that's for them give yeah it's your communities yeah, yeah literally community support awareness Eric, is ahead it of the game. is is it resilient is um, it is it like one use and it's and then it's gone or is it resilient and if i even if it fails it hangs it, it sticks around um let's say it's resilient for now but a, a consequence of failure is that it loses its resiliency right is that, is that a that, reasonable that, thing? That, 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 that sounds legit. That sounds, yeah, that sounds right. very legit. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Okay. Uh, so I'd like to uh, help it with this I, as yeah, well. Yeah, I'd like help too. Mm -hmm. I yeah, think I just like two. pick people Boy. from the side of the street. And I'd like to declare that I have an armament as well, which is that I have the silhouette of a citizen. Mm, yeah, that's good. Because I have a male body and like a... From a distance, I can't talk to you. Yeah. Anyway, totally. so yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. All right, so I'm gonna roll. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, one yeah, of I've... citizen conspicuousness. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna roll one one earth, one air, and one spirit. Right. Uh, uh, and I plus... think I'd like to, uh, if I if I may, uh, I'd like to help by uh, uh, putting out uh, pamphlets that. Uh, uh, that uh, sort of that that like advertise the school, but but mostly by uh, uh, you know putting forth a, an argument rather than saying oh meet here. Yeah, I mean it feels it it feels like m maybe that's a build instead. Like I think I think I've got I think I've got like I think I've got this I think I've got this like avoidance under control. I think what we could do with is like a, an a, an attempt elsewhere to like I don't know firm up our logistics or some whatever like some other kind of preparation for the second meeting. Um, but obviously it is up it is up to y'all. But yeah, I think I think I've got this one. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. I'm gonna finish in my. Last air die to avoid. Um, you are avoiding. That is three successes. Six four. Three successes. Whew. Good roll. Nice. Lost my yeah. last. Lost my last earth dice though. Um, your patrons are enjoying this this stuff. Um, I think I think maybe as a as a benefit from last time communicating, 
Someone brought up a cool way of making a tea that's from either the, maybe it was you, Xanathon. Maybe like, there's like Scythian tea or something, something, like another way of making tea that people really like. It's like really good way of making tea, right? Or some yeah, kind of cool. blend of tea, right? And uh, yeah, they, they like it. And then, you know, like, yeah, it's like, hey, if, if it means more people come here and we can talk about ideas and we get new food and that's delicious or drink, then you know yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do I care, <laughs> right? Because uh, I imagine your yeah, patrons legit. aren't necessarily supportive of this idea, but they do like new food and like they will turn a blind yeah. eye. If it's good, well, it's, right? It's also like it's also like it's it's not just. I think another thing like the fact that I have regular patrons, I think, yeah. is unusual. Yeah, because it most have like that's not how that that interest. Yeah, exactly. Exist. You so I think, yeah, I think <laughs> also like a lot of new people come in, I know. and I'm just like. Yeah, I just I'm spreading I'm spreading the word I'm spreading the word as far, as far and wide as I can and like, uh, is it possible that when we actually get to the second meeting the husbands will show up? And yes, yes, that is possible, but that's fine, um, because at least they haven't dropped in on us in the meantime, and I am satisfied with that. Uh, you, the bar, your bar is is in Greek. It's uh, it's Nazi says, "May you live." It's cheers. Yes. Oh, <laughs> love it. It totally is. <laughs> Sorry, I just realized that because I just I, I I just was slowly put together. Um, yeah, that you your patrons, you have regulars. Um, yeah, that's nice, cool. Um, yeah, so that's that's my scene. I'm I'm good. And good. holy shit, did we just get like five successes on that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just insane. Yeah, we're good at this. What can we do with I, extra For some successes? reason, I, I just don't <laughs> lose my dice very often. Yeah. You're just rolling extraordinarily well for these, these, it's these pretty good. three tests. Yeah. Right? Essentially, mm -hmm. you've been critting them. Um, <laughs> that's good. So here's... uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Well, Time for Eric to punch us. Yeah, I feel like. Well, I, I want like to ask you. Time skip. Time skip to the next meeting, right? Yeah. When is the next meeting? Is is the next meeting encroaching even closer to the sc when school has begun? Has school already begun? Is that no longer a thing for you? I. Um, I I'm I'm flexible of, on it. I just want to know what you guys think. I kind of feel like it's it's more interesting to like. Almost like time skip over like the next like few like small scale on like half the crowd shows up and we have a like little mini lecture like I don't think that's the real meat of the action I mm -hmm. think the next scene is the next big well, meeting which yeah. is a big meeting because a bunch more people have showed up I know and it's on the day yeah, sorry it's on okay. the day of admissions okay right or, like yeah. all right or do, yeah uh, possibly the the day that they uh, that they announce who who's in. Oh fuck yeah! Right? Yeah. And like, and like, kind of what we're doing. I, I, it just occurred to me, right? Is what we want is for as many non-citizens who might have been on that list to just not show up and like vote with their feet and be like, no, fuck you. We're choosing this other alternative thing. Mm -hmm. Like we're trying to, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like delegitimize the Grand Collegium, right? Like, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So that's pretty public, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look, oh, you can't okay. start a revolution without doing some public stuff, Eric. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, that's very fair. Okay, that's good to know. All right, then. Um, I feel like before we zoom into this meeting and and stuff, we, we probably pan through the streets and you see that there are several pamphlets stapled around. Um, or, or criers just crying about um, meetings of, of large groups of non-citizens is strictly forbidden um, oh, at, by decree of the, the Holy Shrine of Unions, like as a reminder, um, mm. right? This, they haven't, you guys have rolled so gosh darn well that I can't, exa <laughs> I don't feel it's fair to punish you that way, but you also are being like not, w rumors have been abound, right? And even mm -hmm. worse is that you see that there is a reward for people who um, give information leading to the capture of the dissenters, is what they are calling you. The dissenters guild, the guild of dissent. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what would be really good? And I think, I think maybe, I think maybe we see maybe maybe like in the intervening time we also like we cut to like 
the three of us just having like a private meeting like yeah. a strategy meeting like just bef before the big day happens and i think velas is saying uh xenophon uh i i mean i lack the stand the standing to make this sentiment known and also the knowledge the knowledge to advance this case uh and constantinos is is not one uh, much of one for speeches but this whole sick system of theirs is built on the myth of access and the myth of opportunity and the idea that they have earned what they have surely the grand conclave there there is no greater example of how it is not earned than these haughty bastards mm -hmm. you 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 have you have the knowing of, of many things could you not make 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 uh, some speech against them i don't i i have heard whispers about their beloved Plato. Perhaps if we shake their blind confidence in him, it will put a crack in the wall. Well, there are some uh, uh, very exploitable logical fallacies in uh, his uh, most revered tracks. I... I uh, would uh, very much enjoy an opportunity to uh, uh, deconstruct them. Hmm. Okay. And, uh, I mean, if it must be publicly rather than the, through the, the, the safety, safety of writing, uh, I, I'm willing to take that risk. Interesting. I... Can I ask you guys a question? Let me ask you, you all a question. Are we playing the type of game where you have to roll against yourself? Are we playing the type of game where when you're asked to do something publicly like this, are you, are you, are you asked to make like, to avoid, um, you know, suspicion and being like, I can't will my, like, while I might want to do this, I can't, I'm, I'm too scared to actually follow through with it like is that the type of game we're playing or not um because this will help me determine whether or not to call for some roles coming up yeah what's yeah. the role trigger you know what i mean because like i mean i feel like that's that's a fair thing to do in some games and not in others in in the republic sure. and i want to know how we feel about that yeah and so Adam, to answer your question uh when a player describes themselves doing something there's often only one re reasonable result paying for goods stepping in front of a train pulling the trigger of a gun pointing at someone's head right there's foregone conclusion. Just enforce those. Right. When the players go to do things where the outcome isn't obvious, though, there's five choices. Say yes and, say yes but, say no but, say no and, or roll dice. Right. And fine. life... All right, fine. Uh, I, how feel about like this a, I feel like a character deciding to take action is a pretty clear case of a, like, there's only one reasonable result. If that makes sense. Sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. That's that said, um, I uh, would uh, actually find it exciting to have it be a role where I'm like, like uh, I'm thinking like yeah, pen, you know, like well, so like like a pen dragon, right? Like the idea of like, yeah. can I out? You know, is this something you can actually follow through on? Is actually, yeah, I, mean, I think an outcome that I don't know. Like, do we want to play more heroic type people where that's not a question? Or is it a question of like when it comes when 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 the the battle hits the metal? Do you do you not? Do you actually be like actually I can't I can I not like this not right now right? Like I mean I don't I don't feel like the system is built to address that because the trigger is when the player describes something. Okay. Not when the character takes action. Like sure, when the sure, player describes fair. their character doing something at that like at that point the character the trigger Sold. already. Sold. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. like, okay. Yep, that works for me. Right, I yeah. just want to make sure. Okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. Right. Whereas, like, I feel cool. like, uh, Brad, if you wanted uh, myself or Adam to, like, build an armament for you of, like, confidence or certainty, 
I think that's definitely something that uh, we could do. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, cool. Then I think I think what we see, um, and I actually want to see what you guys want to do with this. Then um, I think some people take some of the supplies, some of the paint and stuff that from you guys is, uh, you know, rip, rip, uh, repairs, and they want to build a sign. Like they already start like organizing amongst themselves to start literally building the sign of of your your new uh university to literally be hung up on the at this saloon at this at this inn um do you think that's taking it too far or or are you cool with them doing it or what oh boy <laughs> <laughs> like they heard you talking uh, about this and i'm like oh yeah no that makes perfect sense hey, let's let's stick it to them like let's show them we're not afraid yeah, and, and they're just. Well, doing so it. I don't, I don't, what, is that? I don't know that the second, I don't know that the second meeting is here. I think it's like in a very public place. Like I think we were like, it, it feels to me like this oh. is less of a like we're meeting at Tavern. Oh. Like we're gonna occupy the public. Square. Oh, so it's more like a. Re- yeah. It's like it's like it's like the show Rent. It's a demo. It's it's a demonstration, right? Yeah, like it's, no, it's, it's a demonstration. We're demonstrating how many Got people. It. Sorry. Yeah. Are like saying fuck right. you yeah, to no. the Grand Kong College. Yeah, no. You yeah. Act- no okay, no, no, then let me let me do the other way around, right? No, they're gonna. They're going to they're going to occupy the square, and um, how what's what, how are you going to control the groups who um. Let's say uh, let's say there's a fight growing uh, brewing between some merchants who, who are there, and um, some of the demonstrators, right? And I think things are escalating, and I think in after being in, incited. I think some of the demonstrators flip over some of the merchants' oh, stalls oh, actually, and, 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 and carts. I, 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 or you see this happen. Back up a sec. Yeah, I, I, I want to step in there. Or it will happen if you, do, happen. if you choose. I'm it's bad. about to. Yeah, it's about to happen. You don't let that happen, do you? No, no, no. Uh, okay. We th- this fight must be avoided. Um, I'll uh, talk to the the the, the students and and say. Uh, they're particularly it, young students, I think. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. The the more it, fire brandy. It is our inherent right to gather and learn from each other. It is not our right to harm others. <laughs> we uh, do not disturb the, the the merchants. Let them let them sell their wares. Let them also be educated. Yeah, and actually, like go, going going on that last point, I think, like as uh, as as Xenophon is like dealing with the student side of things, Fine. I feel like Vela's um, right. Yeah, I feel like Vela's I... has like slipped, 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 slipped like across the picket line, as it were, to go and like talk to the merchants and try and like deal with that problem. But like, if you want to resolve this first, that's totally well. Cool. I I feel like in order to do that first. I feel like you need to um, basically withstand a volley of of insults from um, the merchants, being like, "You're the ones responsible for letting these kids run a monk and run right where you, you know, like you you half breed mongrel, blah blah blah, you mm-hmm. know." And so, like, yeah, um, and and are, after after they diminutize you um, publicly, um, to, and 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 curse your you you being in this square in the first place. Then I think you're get, do you you can you can get to say the uh, the the speech to stop these students, right? I feel like you have to yeah. Um, yeah. withstand the uh, the result. Yeah, the, I mean, the, and, the, how, the how much? Yeah, right? and from their yeah. words, it is obvious the it is obvious that uh, they need to learn. Yeah, right. So right. how much how much harm how much harm are we going to take, Eric? Um, how does harm works by level? So harm. So basically, 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 harm exists. Harm, yeah. harm is de- it's declared like you're risking x, x many harm. Right. Uh, avoid. You then roll to avoid harm. Yeah. And then whatever each point left kills one dice. Uh oh, that makes sense. Just like any other roll, where where you yeah. fail your success, you buy consequences, right? Well, no, no, no. So no, no. So like in addition to whichever dice are killed by the avoid, any harm left over just kills dice it's like if you take four harm and you don't resist kill four dice and that's not accounting for the risk of losing stuff as you defend right um so i think i think you would lose two dice right um i think i think the uh 
ver- ferocity of the um of the merchant. Yeah. Um, you clearly see why the the this this is this is why the this, students got this, provoked. Yeah, yeah, right here is, is that this person has a reputation. This merchant. Let's give him a name. I don't want to say this person. Right. Aegon. Um, no. 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 Theodosia. That they oh, themselves God. are are a merchant. Uh, trying to make their way through yeah, um, right. this franchise, uh, who, who you know, and being yeah. like, no, like, fuck you, I could, this is you're my place. You're, yeah, yeah, you're giving us a horrible name. Get out of I'm going to lose my place. I'm going to nice. lose my job. Get out of here. Right? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm sorry. So, like, retcon whatever the insult, they probably wouldn't say that. It's more this. And, yeah. um, right? It's an attack on our morale, right? Like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm gonna, cool, Brad. If you're cool, sorry, with this, that's I think so I'm much gonna... better than what I was thinking in yeah, the yeah. first place. This is way better. Yeah, I, I think Velas is gonna like intercept, right? Like, I think Velas is going to like take harm for your friend. Well, he's he's going he's going to like interpose herself, yeah, and like, yeah, and take these and and like deal with these insults like on Xenophon's behalf and leave yeah, him yeah, yeah, to yeah, do yeah. his thing. Yeah. So yeah, totally. I'm gonna try and like right. deal with her. Right. And like. I mean, so also, I just want to say anyone else who might be interested in running this game at some point, I'm literally running this like I would any Apocalypse World game or Blades. Like, this is basically, I'm like, no, hold on, Brad, before you do this, you have to act under fire. It's exactly what I was thinking, and this is the next thing, right? So, and now, and this is the Blades stepping up to, I want to take, I want to take the- the I'm going to resist on your behalf, Brad. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, and this makes sense. But but this, this uh, also, that, that makes sense, right? So before you have a chance to, like, reply and do that stuff, bam. Uh, we see um, we see Velas already step in and and doing these things and seeing that they're trying to take care of it for you, right? Yeah. So yeah. So I I think, like, I think as this yeah. I think as this woman is trying to make this like impassioned Theodosia. Yeah. Yeah. As as, as Theodosia is trying to make this like impassioned plea to Xenophon to like stop, like before he can even really like register or be like emotionally affected by the plea she's making, I like interpose. I I like step in and I start engaging with her. Yeah. Totally, and I like I like I, I like look her in the eyes, and I I, I say like, I know like I, I get it, right? Like I, I I know that you're afraid. I know it's hard. I know that this is a bad place for us, and that you're scared. And like that is that's okay. That's totally reasonable. But it isn't okay. You're gonna cost the me way- my livelihood. The way this place works isn't okay. It's wrong. It's poison. And you don't need to worry about your livelihood. Because we're a community. They may isolate themselves, but we take care of our own. We need to. Right. And you need to convince... Well, I guess you need to... With You're doing this, but yeah, they, they don't believe that, obviously. Yeah, so they I, have yeah, had no... Yeah. No, absolutely. Abso- yeah, abso- absolutely. And I'm saying, like, yeah, like, let them stop buying from your store. We'll there buy from your store. There are ten times more of us than there are of them. And even if they break it, they take it away, we will be there to lift you up when you fall. If there is no food, I will feed you. If you are hurt, I will tend to your wounds. Nice. We are a community. I feel like... We're in this together. This is a really good moment for the community support guy to come in where you have the other person being like, I'll build you your house. I'll get you (laughs) the water. I will get you flowers. You know what I mean? Like, you know, Um, the people stuff. That's that's not what my community support know. I know, I I know, but... but, um, uh, That's... All right. Anyways. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a different, a different dice, yeah. a, di- a different armament, right. which is solidarity. Yeah. Um, yeah, cool. That makes sense. Am... Am I being too easy on you guys right now? I feel like it's just that like you guys are just really, really, really good at rolling successes. Yeah, look, and like I, I feel like it's totally <laughs> yeah. reasonable. I feel like it's totally reasonable at any point. Like. We, we we rolled for the right to go unnoticed by the husbands while we were setting up. Yeah. 
Like, I think the grace period is over. Like, at the whatever point you want to be like, and then the stormtroopers show up. Like, I think. Yeah. Legit. Well, I feel yeah. like this is this pretty yeah. much just going to happen regardless yeah, on after this because um, you're not going to hide it. Yeah. Right. But like. Yeah. Cool. Cool. I, yeah. I, I just, so I just I want to get like a good this... level of like. Yeah. Okay. I agree. Yeah. So Adam, uh, not Adam. Sorry, Eric. Uh, I feel like if if you agree with this, I feel like I'm, like, tending to her fears to disarm her so she's not in a position to inflict harm yeah I if buy that, that sounds reasonable I I, that sounds super reasonable yeah you are that's what you're yeah. doing they're like you're going to ruin everything and you're ablating yeah you're totally you're totally yeah. mitigating it yeah. um and is this is this new armament i have solidarity is it resilient or is it one use one use yep cool um cool, do you yeah, want, so do you want to yeah. make this a more difficult role and have it last and gain basically an ally I mean, here is, in that solidarity because that that if you are then it's probably ob three right it's probably ob three if you want okay yeah, yeah. No, no. So i'm just talking about i'm just talking about in like, terms of the like so i'm not creating uh an armament like so this is like one i'm specifying one of my abstract armaments is solidarity and you are the one who gets to choose if it is one use or if it's resilient so it's that that's one use uh, right. Yeah, like I want, I want, I want, I want this woman to be like one of us, right? Like I want Theodosia to realize. Right. So then oh, it's sorry, a more difficult a, obstacle. Sorry, not a woman. Um, but yeah, I, I want Theodosia to like realize that they are like, they are part of this, and yeah. that like, like they can have greater aspirations for like their life than just kind of like what they are allowed by this society. Right. Okay. I want her to realize that the Republic isn't, uh, them to realize that the, the Republic isn't their only comfort, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to spend, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to roll, you said ob three? Yep. Let me have a quick look. To build this? Yep. Uh, I'm going to spend, I'm going to roll all five of my water dice, all four of my water dice and my extra water dice from Solidarity. Because yeah, I think, I think, I think my, my husband, right? My husband is also here. Mm. Mm. Yeah, of course, right? Of course, like, and I think solidarity. I think his I think his partner is also there, right? And like, kind mm. of just like the crowd that we're in, like, is in a lot of ways like is a demonstration of what I'm talking about because it's people like mm -hmm. being together and like holding each other up and mm -hmm. lifting yep. each other up as a group. And I think that's mm -hmm. what the the solidarity looks like. It's just like that bit at the end of Pride that makes me cry every time. <laughs> I love that movie. All right, what are we looking at? We got what a ending. Five six success, ten nine nine. All right, that's nice. four successes, and the uh, the it's the one use dice that gets exhausted. So I keep all those dice, and I succeed. Oh yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah. So you have a friend. Um. Cool. Yeah, I'm like that... the I, I I think I, I'm like Theodosia. Like, take my hand. Right. But then, all right. Then we cut back and over like, to Brad. Lead right. her over the and like lead, yeah, lead her over the picket line to join us. Right. But then we but then we still have to deal with Xenophon and and the, uh, the and all those school. damn students. Yeah. The Larrikins. Your 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 darn the rapscallions. Yep. Right. So what are you gonna what are, what are, what are we gonna do? How are you gonna discipline so, these kids? Uh, uh, so uh, what I said before plus. Look at that. You got a friend in me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kika. Uh, 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 so, you know, what I said before, and then look at that. That is the building of bridges, not the destroying of them. That is how we will come together. That is how we will triumph. Yeah, cool. I think... Um... I think that builds on the success. I don't think you need to roll anymore, actually, because that was so good. Yeah. Cool. That works for me. Zinifon, what would you have me do here, other than just be a body in this demonstration? Uh... I mean, I almost feel like... I almost feel like it's the other way around. Like, this is... It's your calling, right? Like... Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are the one with this dream, like... You know, really weird way. Like we are following you, mm -hmm. right? Like direct us, teach us. So, and, and you have. Are we going to raise uh, a yeah. school literally in public square? 
with elemental powers? Are we going I, to build pillars shit. out of the ground? I, I mean, that would be that would be cool as fuck. Um, I'm out of earth dice, unfortunately, so I I've can't got earth help. Dice. You you could you could do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, so just slowly as you're making your speech, I'm oh, not shit. saying anything. Oh, and shit. Just... oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! I just realized I've I've got I've got I've got water still. Like we could we could make clay. We could work together. We could make like something that will actually like fucking lo- like last as a building. Hmm. And then Xenophon could fire it, and we'll be working together. Yes. And then the husbands will show up and smash it down because this game is terrible. <laughs> but like, fuck them. Yeah. Fuck them. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you guys in on this. Like, coming. The, the thing that's coming up is the way they're going to deal with you. Is kind of yeah with earth bending, like they're just gonna wall you off. Be like, fine, you took over the place. Let us know when you're you're done being kids, right? Mm-hmm. Basically, they're just going to entrap you, and you're yep. gonna have to survive with everything you can in the marketplace, right? Perfect. Because like we're running out of time, and like that's where I want to get us to. If there's nothing else that wants to get done, I, I want to know what you, what you guys do to it, right? And mm-hmm. obviously, Plato's gonna like get decry you all as this happens, right? Yeah. Um, and sure. say that, um, you know, uh, I think they'd make the logic of you know we will build the 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 just as, as like a white blood cell. We will uh, capture the we'll you know the, the the foreign mm-hmm. agent, right? And they will mm-hmm. they will succumb. Um, for the blood mm-hmm. of the republic is is ever strong, right? Is stronger than ever. Mm-hmm. And, it's very um, Japanese, Eric. Man, it's gonna take away from me. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I know. Well, I realized maybe I've been reading and watching a lot of uh, Kurosawa yeah. recently. For, for no, but like no, but like specifically reasons. the blood metaphor is very oh. the Japanese body politic is conceived of as a body that circulates. That I'll, oh. I'll well, tell you about okay. it later. <laughs> right. So, well, anyways, anyways, the gist of it is, yeah, we are. Um, yeah. That's okay. Why, why would they fight you when they can just starve you off, make you suffer, and and have you surrender on your own? I almost, recognition. Just ignore you. I almost feel like what's about to happen is like a fucking earthbending battle. Yeah, probably. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Like we're we're trying to like raise up a monument and they're trying to like wall us in. Mm-hmm. Like the standard um Avatar season two, like kind of like puzzle boxy sort yeah, of. Yeah, right, like Toph, Toph shit. versus the Dai Li. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That's what's happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. So I'm gonna raise a school. I'm going to build yes. a school. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Um, can can bending things prevent things from being built too? Can you like be fighting against people who are trying to tear it down at the same time? Um, Is that something that can happen? Because I feel like that's what would fictionally happen now. That you are like changing you're morphing stuff inside the metropolis. I feel like that's like a bad thing yeah, that happens being quick. like oh no <laughs> <laughs> and that gets a lot of people's attention mm-hmm. here, There's something we about here, we, here we go here we go yeah so the player's actions are in response to or opposed by an npc using an elemental action which is their talent yeah right and these these uh husbands are trying to build which uh mm-hmm. well, actually so here's, here's the question no these Eric. aren't the husbands building it this is the con okay these building it. This is the actually, it's, it's okay. actually the conclave is directing the collegium to build it. It's actually the okay, best so way of Eric, it. Yeah. So Eric, yeah. So at this point, right, we've got an NPC. So what elemental? So you don't have to tell us this, but you need to right. figure out for yourself what elemental action is their talent and what is their vulnerability. Where, 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 where is the where is the conclave strong and where are they weak? Right. Um, um that's a and good then question. that modifies our like number of successes needed to deal with them depending on what kinds of actions we're taking um i think they're very strong in i mean can they be strong in multiple don't tell or... us nope it's one and just one one and one in the other okay yep yeah and otherwise they're just like they 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 the thing exists it is right thing. i got the good i got the two yeah so it's like yeah so it's like we, we normally we oppose opposing npc is just like any other uh role but if we're taking an action that matches their vulnerability, we get a free extra success. And if we're taking an action that uh, 
is opposed by like they're, they're where we're attacking where they're strong we our difficulty goes up by one and then if a if if a character there's also an idea of scale eric which is right down the bottom of npcs on page uh five yeah 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 um, if you think that that's a relevant yeah. aspect which i think it might well be um yeah but yeah totally. otherwise otherwise like it just it just works like anything like it's just you decide how difficult it is to overcome them and we we, we do our best to do it if a role is necessary oh it's actually okay i mean i i, I feel like the person in charge of rewriting history has scale too seems pretty fair all right yeah, Plato's. Yeah, Plato's definitely got scale. Okay. Um, oh, I need to come up. Actually, I didn't. I didn't come up with Plato's own uh, strengths. I only came up with the collegiums. So let's come with the conclaves. Um, look at the chart one more time. Yeah, totally. It's So I'm Got thinking it. of putting my everything into this. All right, I wrote them. I wrote them on the GM layer, so so other people people playing at home can see what my thoughts are. Um, should I also do this now immediately for the for other anticipating institutions? Like, should all institutions have this stuff, or for pillars? So it's, not, or it's, just... it's 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 not about it's not about institutions. It's about it's so much as it's about specifically NPCs. Uh, but yeah, right. most pillars, a lot of pillars slash institutions right. end up being NPCs. But like a belief right. is not necessarily going to have right. that. Cool. Though like so it then, might, right? Right. Like, so yeah. So so Plato. All right. Fine. So you you. So we see um, see Constantinos begin in building the the monuments, right? And I think I think of course, just like anything that's kind of surprising, you you meet uh very little uh resistance, uh as it gets started, right? And then as as the institutions begin to take, um, notice. It will. It gets increasingly more difficult, and I think we see. Um, I think we have a, a, a rousing speech by by Plato, maybe not heard by you guys, right? But like, I think we hear it to the the, the students, right, Who, at the at the opening day, right, being like, you know, the emo the importance of education is ever stronger than later, like you know, and like we have this stuff going on down here, and so we're now we're going to have to demonstrate. Um, you know the strength of our of our resolve, and mm -hmm. and 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 why our institution, why we are the the greatest. Um, we are a civilization and law and order, and this is chaos. And this is, um, you know, this is this is this is a disease, right? That needs to be cured. And uh, mm. and I think I think that's probably where we see Plato being like. Or like student, you know, there might be like Plato like has the suggestion that like some say maybe we should reason with them, but to them I say we should not offer the satisfaction of of of, of a conversation or or dialogue with. We shall ignore um, the as as we do not speak. Um, yeah, debate is to, for citizens. Right? Yeah, like. right. Debate <laughs> debate is for citizens who follow the law. No, right, and the, like to act against the republic in of itself is so indecent to not warrant that such yeah. a response we will not entertain the possibility that what they have to say is worth hearing um right and uh that that garbage shall not reach our ears we shall coordinate it off right and smother we will smother we will rid the fire of its oxygen and um we will and 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 that's when he will direct the um yeah exact saragon and chat to turn your back on reason shows you're incapable of being reasoned with and your actions yeah. uh to them are, are are argued and elocuted that you are being unreasonable by by demanding these reasons. ah that's right. fucking class i think we just discovered a new move that the grand conclave has which yeah. is claim that marginalized people are being unreasonable when they yeah. express <laughs> their grievances yeah Mm -hmm. right yeah. like i like legit i think that's a move they have yeah and, and like there is a procedure for establishing moves in play and i think that's one 
Makes sense to me. Makes sense. Like yeah. re redefine the terms of of the argument, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Those bastards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. So I. So they're trying to raise walls. Yep. Eric. Exactly. Yeah. So I think I. I mean, I think I think they can try. I think that's that's cute. But what Velas <laughs> is doing, um, is watching them. I think Velas has found like a a high place. I think even like to to make the metaphor as like totally unsubtle as possible because there's a one shot. I think Velas is being like borne up upon like is being like is on someone's shoulders, like lifted above the crowd so that she can see, and like you know someone is literally like helping her to see. Um, and she's like watching and listening and like sensing, you know, like paying attention to what's, what's happening. And as the like earthbending power is moving through the earth, she's like soothing it and grounding it and like turning like what should be like rock and earth and soil into like mud so that it just like stops moving. And so she's basically like seeding the entire like space that their chi their their energy has to like travel, like with her own like water bending, so that their efforts just like dissolve as they try and do things. Mm -hmm. Okay, just kind of like um, wet sand crumble. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Right, like yeah. So I, I I feel like like it's it's tending right. Like I'm I'm soothing what I'm soothing it. I'm just like. Peace, peaceful, peacefulness. Right, and I think, well, I think I'm de-escalating, de right? Like, well, yes. And as you're de-escalating, de I think this is the point where also people are like, "Oh shit." <laughs> um, I think I think it's fair to say I think some people do not want to even risk that and and want to leave too. So like, yeah, but I don't, you can't yeah, you can't but, handle but, both at the same time. But like, let's do this first, right? Well, I kind of, I kind of, here's the thing, Eric, I think there's an argument that, like, I feel like I, I can and I am, because, like, the, the point that Velas is making and kind of what she's doing is demonstrating that, like, we don't have to be afraid of them. Right? Like, they're yeah. trying their thing. They're not and, 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 like, and she is, like, stopping it, and we are stopping it. And, in fact, she's calling on them to help. Like, this is, this is kind of, like, Tending the fear of our people by addressing what they're doing. Like Plato's not even really the point here. All right, I can. See. The point right. is out is the morale of our group, which is right. why I think it's and, tend, right? Like okay, yeah, it's definitely tend. It's not, but the the question is whether or not it's like it's. I totally. It's like I totally believe what you're saying, but I don't believe it enough to be jailed and walled into this thing, right? Um, which I think is a very. No, I think that I mean that sounds like thing, the but I feel I, I think I think I think you are I think you are the I think you you have it right here. So like let's 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 leave it as those as those could be compromises to what you're trying to do. Yeah, so right. Like yeah, right. like I feel, so yeah, I feel like I feel like let's it's throw dice. dice. Let's throw dice. Cool. Um, man, it's so you're such an agreeable person to play with, right? <laughs> like you're all like this is great. Thank you. Right, like this is my first time doing um, this, so I'm stumbling through it, and you guys are all just been super, super chill as, um, as we we work through it. Cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So right. I'm 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 going to uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, use all my water dice. Uh, and actually, fuck it, it's, it's like the end of the game. I'm gonna use my both of my spirit dice as well, okay. and uh, I'm going to uh, like, and I'm bending water. And so when we when we bend an element, we declare it like element by element. Mm -hmm. And any dice that is being bent is rolled twice. And if either of the rolls are a success, you get the success. But if either of them is a failure, you lose the dice. So basically it oh. increases your odds of getting success, okay. but that you'll probably lose dice doing it. Okay. okay. It's like the high the high stakes shit, right? Hmm. Cool. Yeah. So I'm gonna first I'm gonna roll my spirit dice and then I'm gonna separately roll the water dice because that's relevant yeah. um eric what is my obstacle uh let's go let's see i think scale's a factor here too or i guess well uh, it's yes, difficult no it's difficult right um so i think this is going to be i think this is four 
Uh, is Soothe where they are strong all week? Attend? Um, were you supposed to... Hold on. When you've made stronger weak, are you making... Were you supposed to choose actions or, or elemental types? Uh, no, it's it's action types, uh, not elements. Well, I chose elements. Um, I mean, there's a really easy conversion right. chart for that. Well, yeah. No, it's... it's Yeah. Um, let me see. What does tend? What does what does tend relate to? Tend is tend is tend is water. Right. They're not weak to tend. No. Cool. All right. Cool. So that's I'm trying to get four. Cool. Hey Xenophon, I really I really want to see you debate Plato after this while we build a school. Can that can that be a thing? Oh, That'd for sure. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's yeah. A, that is totally what I want it, to do next. Stick it to the man. All right. Cool. So seven and three. Ah, oh, fucking. Damn it. All right. So no dice from the spirit dice. Rip. That's no good. <laughs> Four to six, nine to 20. You got one success. Did I? Oh, uh, you, you, you got a five, right? Uh, Am I nope. misreading that? No, no. This is the second second lot. So starting, D, starting from 2d12. So I got no, no successes with the spirit dice. Uh, uh, I got... I think is that all? So... That's three successes. Yeah, Nine three successes. Mm -hmm. Three successes. And then I'm going to reroll that six first because that's the one that really matters. All right, so Got it's four it. successes. Success. It's four successes, but I'm going to lose. Uh, oh, I'm only losing one dice. Yay. Okay, but that but you did okay. All right. Yeah, so I, I'm I'm like I'm like so water I'm like turning yeah. I'm turning this like as they're trying to turn like uh soil into like rocky walls, I'm right. fur get I'm getting there first and turning it into mud. And as I do, I'm saying like Friends, like we don't have to be afraid of them. Together, we don't have to fear them. They can't hurt us if we are together. And if they do, we will lift each other back up and we'll keep going. Stay right. the course. So, Don't let them bully you. So there's a lot of land being changed here. And you're like watering it down, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Okay. All right. Uh, no problem. <laughs> but me, but me, but in the meantime, like, const like, cause, con like constant landslides aren't a thing, is right? <laughs> nope. I mean, is is there a slope here, Eric? Yeah, I mean, I imagine this. There's you're in on a, a perfectly, hill. In a perfectly engineered city made by earthbenders, wouldn't everything be perfectly flat? Not if it's a hill where the obviously the Grand Conclave and Grand Collegium sit above and in the Acropolis. That's a very good part point. of the hill. That's a very good point. That's um, a very good point. All right, Constantinos, I think you have a school to build. So that could be a problem. You're muted. By the way, Adam Constantinus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, your voice is being yeah. silenced. <laughs> your voice. Oh. <laughs> so what I was saying is, I have a bunch of dice loaded up in my roll twenty chat, and I am ready to hit that button. Right. And what is this that you're rolling for? Remind us. I am erecting the pillars of our school. That's right. Okay. With bending. Okay. Yeah. Now I think, I think that um, this is actually this would require a roll now that the the ground has changed uh, so mm -hmm. much. So mm -hmm. yeah, let's 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 see this. I feel like this is probably an op two. Okay. Um, I really want this to succeed, so I'm actually throwing in a bunch of my dice. And this is bending, so you actually get to roll twice and. Uh... You're just more likely to lose dice. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. But also, I'm more likely for success. Cool. These are... That second roll is going to be um, me rolling my earth dice twice. Yep. Cool. So I am building. That is... Okay. Just one success, like... two success, 
three success. Se it seems like you're really e good at succeeding. Am I setting the obstacles too low? Nope. Cause th so this is mechanically, this is a game about attrition, right? Like mm -hmm. uh, okay. in the same way that like, you know, like actual social justice works. This is a game about you getting ground down by the world. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And okay. running out of dice. I mean, it's also, we are rolling quite well. Yeah. That like, that is also, I would say. Right. True. But like, how am I going to make a landslide happen where you have to choose between <laughs> either helping uh, the that new merchant or or your your husband's partner? Like, describe how the supposed... situation. <laughs> what do the players do? What happens next? You can describe whatever you want, Eric. You, but the, you no, we're not there see. yet. We're not because I think we we need to. But yeah. we're almost out of time, so we need to jump over to I think. Uh, so I think you guys succeed, right? Like, yeah, yeah. You, you I build the school just on the Earth dice alone. I have four successes. Jeez, yeah, not okay, even considering yeah. the other ones. Um, I do lose two of those dice because there's failures mm -hmm. on two of them. Mm -hmm. Right. Cool. So yeah, yeah, let me just sort out the rest of the dice on that table. Right. And but remove the ones. Come that on, Xenophon. Come so on. You have massive, okay. you have Fucking, massive success. So beat up Plato. Beat up Plato. Right. Uh, th this may be tricky though, because it seems like. Uh, You've got uh, you've got fire dice. You're good at striking things. You can do this. Uh, I'm okay at it. I'm gonna try it. Um, but it's not like I can throw in anything else. Oh, uh, I, I guess I will throw in other things just just because it, it may help. Um, yeah, D12s so, yeah. aren't um, terrible. Okay. And D6s are okay. First strike. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I don't know if this is like a compound action or if the first part is just uh. Uh, can just be read in, but I, I feel like uh, one of my armaments is, is that I, I know how uh, the uh, I, I know how these people think, how uh, the uh, how the uh, you know the Grand Con uh, Conclave uh, tends to argue, how how Plato tends to argue what he's probably saying. Um, mm. and so part of what I, uh, uh, I think part of my speech is I, I'm, I'm trying to just like amplify it. So where, so that, uh, it's not just, uh, the people assembled right here can hear it, but everybody outside. Um, yeah, totally. It's like an oratory. Okay. Like okay. everyone can hear it, right? Your voice is is being, um, it's it's being carried, right? Are you firebending and are like literal sparks like flying from your lips and like smoke wisping around you? Like, how epic yeah. is this on a scale of one to ten? Uh, I think that uh, on a one to Michael Bay. Th yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You insult us, Eric. I, I think no, that I like there's wa yeah waves of heat and like a shimmering. Yeah. That, that is yeah yes. fire bending. Um. Is your tongue I, like a knife and your teeth are like flint? Sure. Where there's little sparks yeah. coming out. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that's the thing. I don't think that there's like literal sparks coming out of my mouth. Okay. But there, there's just like this, you know, the, this. You're a firebrand. There's heat yeah. rolling yeah. off you in waves. <laughs> Um, awesome. Fuck Plato up. Yeah. I want you to make him cry. <laughs> <laughs> I think that the, the crux of my argument is that a, uh, uh, the, an institution that, that cannot withstand, uh, outside argument is, uh, is riddled. It is inherently flawed. And that uh, it, it uh, just the fact that they are uh, seeing this bending means that all the, those arguments about how uh, the you know everybody who uh, isn't a citizen uh, you know is inherently uh, inferior. Is proved wrong right before your eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we, yeah, we're we're not we non citizens aren't allowed to bend, and where bending is taught is a hundred and ten percent 
in the upper echelons of the Collegium where they gate everyone out from. But we can fucking do it anyway. So fuck you, Plato. I love it. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah, like what, here's that observational you, proof. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, well, it's, it's almost in a lot of ways it feels like we're, like we're, like, yes, like Plato, Plato is under like some direct like threat here. But it kind of feels like the belief that like education is the great equalizer and like the school like the reason people get kicked out of the school is because they don't try hard enough and they don't have the potential like well we have the potential to fucking learn to bend outside your systems mm -hmm. so what does that say to the idea that like your education system is the great equalizer mm -hmm. like it kind of feels like that pillar is a little a little bit under attack here just just a teeny mm -hmm. yeah. just a teeny tiny bit not even but that that's we can Eric. bend but that their bending crumbles to mud that well. too. That too. Yeah. I mean, just like their beliefs, right? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. <laughs> hopefully. Let's, let's see. Hopefully. Well, yeah, hopefully, right? Um, let's fucking so, wreck it. So, throw the dice. Okay. So, uh. All right. I just prepared already. Uh, slash. Yeah, and if you fail, they send in the army. So, like, what do you want? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perfect. Uh,. So let me see. I'll, I'll throw in my uh, the V12s as well. All right. So that's one success so far. What was the all, Eric? Uh, to convince this is four. Oh, um, Daniel played strong man. against striking. That bastard. Uh. Oof. Oh, hang on a minute. No, I'm looking at I'm looking at Adam's last roll. I I don't actually see any dice yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh. Uh, I am not actually is like okay. So right now I have four dice. I'm, I'm looking at my you know two fire dice, two uh, uh, two self. Oh, uh, uh, actually, um, as as not bad. As well, as okay at this. Self is slightly better. Uh, well, okay, I'll throw it in. Uh, and don't forget, you can bend those fire dice if you want. Okay. Uh, I would like to do so. Make it happen. Okay. You got those dope ass special effects going on. Here we go. And yeah, bending with Let's see. the fire dice. And. Oh boy. And you had a question mark. <laughs> and so now we're with the suspense is even longer. <laughs> okay. You Here do. we go. Oh, wow. Oh, that's. Jesus. Uh, one, shit. Nine, bad, two. bad, good. I, I, I see one. Good. I see two. I see. Good. Two, I see. Th I, see I see three. three. I see three. I see three. But the fire dice were oh, bent, which need, which means so you're gonna lose both fire dice, yes, but you do get to re-roll them and see if they're okay. also successes. Okay. Which two D is much more likely. Yeah. So far, it looks like the Mormon it Jedi game makes with felt like... the not blue avatar and duel of wits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's yeah, that's, so, four, that's four yeah. successes, but. Ooh, you're losing, you're losing a, a, a non-trivial number of those <laughs> dice. Finished. Here we go. Okay, yeah. so, uh, both fire Here's dice. The uh, the... Uh, and then one of the self dice. Oh, wait, no. No, both of the self dice are successes. That's good. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, it looks like, I think, two of the air. And then two air. All right. So you got a total of one. You you got three successes total. Four. Uh, you got four. Oh, so you matched four. it. You did it. Yeah. Yep. You did it. <sighs> Great Yay! cost. Dude, it Good job, Xenophon. Yeah. This well, is like right. Like this. This is like the after this, we all like go underground for a bit and just like get our shit back together. Yeah. Because yeah. we're kind of like all emotionally right? drained and exhausted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we did um, it. Yeah. Well, Yay! I think. Um, I think, I mean, because it's a one shot, I think it would make sense. But I think we see as the closing out scene, um, I think we see Plato rewriting history and that they've always been in favor of, of opening up the ideas of education <laughs> for everybody. Um, nice. I think that has to be the answer. Oh, um, that is fucking 
god but like Hayden, what what fucker. what let's just let's just quickly <laughs> let's just do like an epilogue then right yeah um, yeah. yeah i so eric would, yeah. would you say does it seem reasonable like i feel like the the belief that education is a great equalizer has been like uh like fucked with right like i feel like that uh, that pillar has I, been it, destroyed it, or changed well, yeah, it's been changed in the way that it's been expressed in that it's actually, a, it's still believed, but the, the the how it's expressed has changed. Yeah, it feels to me like it's been shaken uh, in a way that, uh, you know, just because we were, u we were able to use that belief uh, against the existing power structure. It's, it's not that it doesn't exist yeah. anymore, but... Yeah, yeah but uh, you, you, you intellectually jujitsued it. Yes. Yeah. Right? Does that make sense? Like you use it, yeah, exactly what Brad said. You you use its own uh, staunchness against itself. Yeah, which means uh, the Grand Collegium takes a wound. Yes. Yes. If we did that enough times, we could destroy it. Yay! Yay! So who's up to keep playing for eight miles? <laughs> <laughs> no, I gotta, I gotta go to bed. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, fine. <laughs> Yes. Um, do you want to do epilogue real quick? What, where, we, where we see everyone going in, in a year or whatever? Sure. sure. I mean, I, f I feel like, I feel like, let, I, f I kind of like the idea of like a slightly tighter time scale, right? Because like, sure. Like, like this, right. this well, isn't, go. this isn't a big victory in the nature of like, uh, like confronting oppression is, is that like, it's a lot of slow increments. I feel like it's like, like in the immediate aftermath, what change do we see? Right? Like, personally, that is what I would want to see. Right? Yeah, I don't have a specific epilogue in mind yet, but maybe we should, uh, I mean, is there time for us each to do a, an epilogue, or is this one shared one? No, I think we. there's time to just do a little short, a little shared epilogue, or anything okay. about uh, just where, so, where we, what, what do we see your character doing at the end, right? I have a question. Yeah. And maybe we can guide this with our unanswered questions, too. Um, what's happening to the, like, to the, the stone structure that, um, Constantinos raised? The like, school? has just been, uh, you, you, like, is this the school now, or are sure. they, like, I, I this assume... is not the proper place for a right. school, but you can have a place in the, in the collegium? Oh. In my head, you built a like you basically built the, the the one of like the small little halls of the school that's like been erected there now, right? That's what, yeah. to me. That's what I thought you. That's yeah. what it sounded well, because, like. It was mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, because like the the pillar the, being shaken means that the republic loses access to that move, right? Yeah. So the republic can't constrain education to the rich anymore. Yeah. So it means so we get, get we your get school, our school. Is, Yeah, you get your school. Good job, fam. We yeah. Did. Yeah. We did. Cool. All right. Is it still like a place that people walk through, or do they have to take different streets around it? I, you I kind of like the idea of it as like forum like in that like I uh, like it too, right? Like it's open air and like anyone yeah, can come campus. there and learn, and that's kind of the point. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah, it's totally. not even a campus. Like I don't think it has like solid rooms. I think it's got like the pillars and the roofs, but like there's no walls. Mm -hmm. It's like oh, you can yeah, come in and like out pavilions. if you want to learn. Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. that's the point right. of it. Right, 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 right. That makes more sense. Okay. So Constantinos is like teaching kids how to read. It's the marketplace of ideas. Mm -hmm. Get out of here, you filthy capitalist. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my anarchistic re republic utopia. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't sully this place with those words. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right, Eric. I'm glad you realized that you're wrong. Mm -hmm. And Constantinos yeah. is teaching like a different way of calling each letter that's monosyllabic for each one mm. that's it. like uh, uh, alpha doesn't make the sound alpha mm -hmm. alpha makes the sound ah so the letter is ah right beta doesn't make the sound beta Be beta is ba yeah he just monosyllabizes all of the greek alphabet yeah cool mm-hmm this dope as shit. Mm-hmm. Nice. Who's next? Yeah. Who wants to go next? Um, I feel like we see um the the tavern. 
Mm -hmm. But I think it's I think it's like I think the windows are smashed in and it's boarded up. Um, and I, th I think like we I think we see this like in passing, right? Because like you know it's it's not without its risks to like you know to speak out against and confront the state. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, th I think we like pan past it like deeper into the neighborhood, and we see like an a, what like an abandoned building, like the bottom of what was once like a storefront or something, and we like go inside and like through a, a couple of like hallways and we see this room and it's like lit by like this fire and there's like food being cooked and like people sat around a long table like sharing a meal and like community together and i think we see uh like theodosia there with um velas um but i think i think like we i think we see the inverse right we see velas's like promise and prediction come true but she's the one who's had her livelihood taken away, and Theodosia is the one who's helping her up and like helping her to to have like you know like the food that she needs to eat and that kind of thing. Mm, yeah. But yeah, I think yeah, I think we see this like big community party uh, going yeah. on. It's like yeah, like if, if rent was good, is what this game is. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> you leave Jonathan Larson out of this. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, it's better than maybe, maybe I never seen the Broadway show. I've only seen the movie, so that's maybe that's my problem. But anyways, yeah. Uh, so I think that uh we see a bunch of uh students uh gathered uh reading a book, and it's uh. And, and, and it is that that uh, you know that magnum opus that that uh, uh, Xenophon wrote, with uh, but uh, extended like the, it's been expanded upon, um, and the, the you know the book actually has his name on it. But as the you know the view uh, sort of tilts up from where the uh, the students are gathered, uh, yeah. you see uh, uh, Xenophon's grave, like it's mm -hmm. okay. To, to have this be out there if he's dead. Mm. Have this, like, you know, acknowledged. And it, it's hard not to when it's the, the you know, the, 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 the writing style is, you know, exactly match, matches in, in the, the, the new uh, parts. Um, and, you know, the new parts are, you know, uh, much more incisive than uh, before, like, you know, much more mm -hmm. risk-taking. Um, but you know, he he's taking this role of firebrand and de demagogue. They're gonna kill him. I mean, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. but you know, his voice it was remains. totally. It was totally Plato who took credit for your work too. Totally, like, <laughs> yeah. I, that's 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 ten percent. Like, Plato was the one whose name was in the book. Like, yeah, totally. That that Plato was the the great uh, barrier breaker, right? The great reformer. Yeah. Ugh. It's gross. Okay. Cool. Um, that's it then. Um, yeah. All right. All right. We played a game. We played, Re we played the Republic, everybody. Um, I like this game. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I love the, it. Especially the thing where when you bend the elements, you have a greater chance of like depleting your energy mm -hmm. because you're actually like doing magic. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. That's very no, it's, good. It's really, really good. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, like, you know, most of all, I, I love the 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 premise and the way it, it uh, uh, you know, so built into the system. There's this uh, the resistance against oppression, um, mm -hmm. but I also like the dice mechanic. I have not seen anything quite like this before. Yeah, and, I've never seen this either. You know. That's amazing. I mean, what role playing game, game <laughs> yeah. is it stealing everything, really? It's finally a game that uses polyhedral dice that I actually enjoy playing. Shots yeah. fired. D &D. Fuck you, Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I like. I, I, I really like the um, the idea of the platonic solids being a thing yeah. in mm -hmm. this game, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, um, and that they're associated with their elements. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. that's a big but, thing for but me, we, too. We, but we now know, right. right, the the platonic solids were really discovered by Xenophon. Yeah. <laughs> Plato just took credit for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's good. All right. Awesome. Cool. Uh, so, Brad, who are you? Yeah. Let's do outros. Oh, uh, so uh, once again, I uh, do some streaming at uh, uh, Twitch slash Twitch TV slash RP Glory um, on uh, mm-hmm. Wednesdays at 10 a.m. Uh, we're, we're starting a new thing with uh, uh, Monsters and Other Childish Things, which is like this uh, uh, comedy horror with ki- kids and, the, and their uh, har- and their horrible extra-dimensional monsters. On... It's like It, but it's not really grim. Wait, what's the name of this game again? Uh, monsters and Other Childish Things. Right. I think I've heard of this game. Yeah, it sounds good. That's it's, yeah. like, it's like it's it's like this one of Little Fears. There's like a li- weird little uh, subgenre of like. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on uh, Saturdays, uh, I either uh, play test or develop uh, the Eschaton, the that uh, transhumanist uh, science fiction uh, Power by the Apocalypse game where uh, uh, everybody has their own uh, organization. And then on Sundays, it's a variety of things, but uh, every, pretty much every Sunday at four. Uh, yeah, that's, that's my stuff. Yay. Awesome. Dark Lavender Void, what about you? Hi, I'm swamped in learning new skills, so I'm dying. <laughs> um, when I'm not dying, I'm making a game called Mortally Bankrupt, um, which is... Um, a streamed tabletop role-playing game where you play um, reality TV stars and the ultra chores that watch them. So good. Cool. Luke? Hello, I am Luke. Uh, I am a professional GM for children. I also design games uh, often. Um, I have like a bunch of like small games that are done ish and ready for playtesting and then also like my big power by the apocalypse game is like nearly there for another playtest update so if you would like access to that material you can back me on patreon and see all of it uh and yeah. also you can follow me on twitter where you can hear me complain about stuff i guess yeah. wow wildwood games y'all at wildwood games it's super good uh, yeah and I, then yeah the, yeah the patreon is uh patreon.com slash games from the wild wild wood. Yes. Yeah. Cool. And uh, thank you all. This has been Once Upon a Game, uh, season four. We're playing the Republic. I've been your host and facilitator, Eric. Uh, and so so thank you all so much. I'm Eric Volgaris on, on the Twitter, Twitches, and YouTubes. Um, come join us tomorrow at 7 p.m. We're the debuting the brand new Torchbearer game, Keep on the Borderlands, starring uh, Sean Nittner, Sage Latora, uh, Epidia Roven, Ravencall, Ravencall. I don't know how to say his last name. Ravenchall, Ravenchall, whatever. <laughs> Robocall. I know. Sorry. Robo. I, I don't know. I should. I should have. I should have <laughs> prepared. I should have prepped this. I'm so sorry. I, I just call him Epidia. I love. I love you. I love you, Epidia. Um, and um, Virgil Vinger. Uh, so. Uh, Really, really, really fun cast for this uh, four-shot game of Torchbearer. We're looking at Mold Bay's old game, Keep on the Borderlands. So um, stay tuned for that. And some other fun goodies, like this Saturday, I'm starting a show uh, where I'm a player and not the Game Master um, in, in in Gregor Hutton's 316. Uh, started with the GM, John Harper, um, and and fellow players, Strauss and uh, Morgan Ellis. Uh, so it's gonna be that's going to be a fun game. That's basically like catch 22 meet starship troopers uh it's kind of like the idea of the game uh you're space marines and you're like wait are we the baddies and like you know you're supposed and you're supposed to be like well let's talk to the officers and it's kind of like a weird almost paranoia-esque style game where you're like wait are things actually the way they are <laughs> and uh so it's a fun it's a fun anti-war game uh about blowing up and exterminating all life in the galaxy so anyways it's, it's a good game so anyways that's it that's what we're doing here Henley, you literally you're hosting the channel right when I'm getting ready to sign off. So, oh, <laughs> poor Henley. All right, uh, take care, y'all.
Uh, I'm out of here. Thank you. See ya.